What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to another one of our top five horses in training video here. Um, we'll go through them here pretty quickly because there's not a ton of change. Uh, first of all, I want to mention two horses just outside the top five are Arabian Night and Go Rocket Ride. I just didn't put them there, but they're right there on the cusp, and they could jump up and maybe be jump into this top five or even number one eventually by the end of the season. But both of them just have one that one grade one win and that kind of it's like, yeah, they're right on the fringe. But I thought these five uh, were a little bit better. So number five on my list, Elite Power. He saw that long winning streak come to an end last time out um, in a you know, he ran well, but he still lost in the four go at Saratoga, got second. But he's still a long winning streak. He's still the top sprinter right now. Uh, he went from being a total shoe in to win the top sprinter award. So he's got work to do. If Gunite can beat him again, all of a sudden Gunite is one that makes a lot of sense, but I've got a lead power up there at number five. Echo Zulu going to be number four. Once again, this week for me, uh, a solid Philly, uh, uh, in, in the sprinting ranks right now, just, just a tremendous, tremendous effort in the ballerina. She looks like she's on another level right now. So I've got Echo Zulu at number four, Cody's wish number three for me. Um, a horse that tried to, the, you know, to stretch out to the two turns, the mile and an eighth. It did not work out well, but he has been incredible at a mile or less. And so I think Cody's wish still deserves to be up there. I've got him at number three for now. Number two, up to the mark. He is injured. Uh, we don't know when we're going to see him again. He was our best turf horse for sure, though. Back-to-back -back grade one wins, including one of the toughest races of the year for turf horses, the Manhattan, up to the mark one at easy. So I've got him at number two. And number one is Archangelo. He won the Belmont. He won the Travers. I'll keep him at number one for another week. It's hit and miss, right? But I think if you look at Archangelo and if he wins the Breeders' Cup Classic, he's probably going to be the horse of the year, and he absolutely deserves it if that is the case. It's still a big if, though. you got to go out and win the Classic. That's not going to be easy, but it's all right there in front of Archangelo if he can do it. I think he's earned that number one spot for now. All right, let's review it. Number five, Elite Power. Number four, Echo Zulu. Number three, Cody Swish. Number two, Up to the Mark. And number one, Archangelo. All right, that'll do it for this week's list. Check back next week. We'll have a new and updated top five for you. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. And we'll see you next week. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.